Hi, I'm DeAndrea and welcome back to my channel. So today's standing routine is a 15 minute workout that incorporates footwork, leg work, some action for those hips, and of course your core in this Pilates based routine. 15 minutes is all you need. And with that, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today's routine, I wanna focus a lot on footwork, which is action through the feet and ankles, of course our foundation holding us up, right? And let's go ahead and start with our feet about hips distance apart. Please be sure to work at the level that works for you today, all right? And so if you need to do anything to modify, incorporate that today, all right? But I'm gonna start with feet hips distance apart, a soft bend in my knees, very, very tiny bend in my knees. And starting out with one foot at a time. So I'm gonna roll through the foot, and very slowly at first, so I'm trying to roll through the center of my foot, right up to the center of the ball of my foot, right? Getting those cracks out of those toes might feel good to you, but just nice and slow at first, rolling through those feet. And as I'm doing this, I'm keeping my hips steady, chest lifted, and abdominals engaged. All right, so then take that to a little bit of a quicker action, almost like you're on a stair step, right? So alternating feet, take away too much Rolling in those hips, right? We wanna focus down through the feet. Push into the floor. Use the floor to help you here. Almost creating some resistance, right? And then a little bit quicker for eight. So we neglect our feet and our ankles a lot and we pay for it. Um, it's important to give them the attention that they need. And pause, great. So now let's roll up to the balls of our feet both sides. Visualize having a ball or a block between your thighs. So you're gonna press in, I'm using my thigh bones, right, to press into the center, which is gonna help bring me into alignment. Abdominals in, hold that balance for three, for two, for one, and then roll down through your feet. All right, let's add on to that. So sitting back into a squat, I'm gonna send my tailbone naturally back, abdominals engage, and sit it back. Again, I still have that imaginary ball between my thighs. Then I'm gonna roll up to the balls of my feet from here. Rise up slowly, straightening those knees, and then lower the heels down. Let's do it again. I'm just gonna keep my arms in one place. Squat, or hips back, balls of the feet. Slowly rise up, abdominals engage, and then drop those heels. Again, sit it back. Nice little crack for me. Roll to the balls of the feet. Rise up, take your time, and lower the heels one more slow, and sit it back. Abdominals in, balls of the feet. Rise up slowly and heels down, a little bit more flow, so sit it back. Ball, lift, heels down, back. Balls of the feet, rise up, heels down, two more, and back. Good. And lower, last one. And heels down. Now, flush out those arms a bit, reverse it. So we're gonna go up. This time, bring your arms up overhead. Then, slowly bend those knees, send your hips back, back, back. So I still have my heels off the floor, drop the heels, straighten the legs. Okay, again, bring it up, sit it back. You have that block between your thighs. Drop the heels, and down, good, two more. Up, sit it back, abdominals engaged, chest is lifted, drop the heels. Good, another one slow, sit it back. Drop the heels, and a little bit quicker. So we're going up, sit it back, heels down. Good. Three more, you got this. Now, I am picking up the pace a little bit, but I don't want you to pick it up if you feel like you're losing the control, right? And back, good, and shake it all out. Let's go ahead and turn our legs out. So I'm going wider than hips distance apart, Again, I always turn out from my hip socket, okay? So I'm aiming pretty much towards the front two corners of my mat, and then sitting it down into more of a plie, sumo type squat. Abdominals in, tailbone drops slightly, and then arms are gonna go overhead. So today I'm gonna take my arms kind of yogi goddess style to where I have my palms pressing into each other. So what's nice about that is I engage the shoulder blades. So lowering down and lift. Good, and lower. Doesn't matter which way you wound up those arms. We're gonna switch in a moment. That's four for me, four more slow. So again, press those palms together, feel those the upper back activate. All right, two more. 
chest upright and then lower down. All right, so in that goddess type squat, you're gonna lift one heel up and lower and change and change. Good, chest up. Maybe you sink lower into that squat for four, three, two, and one. Now push both feet into the floor, sweep the arms down, bring them up, and then make sure you lace your hands so that the opposite hand is pressing at the top. All right, here we go. So now alternate. Seven, chest up. You can do this. Six, thighs are warmed up. Feel a little sweaty, that's good. Four, <laughs> three, two, and one. Heels down, release, good. Shake it out. All right, and then just moving a little bit here. Flesh it out. Good, getting some movement through that spine and release. All right, so now giving a little bit of an angle view here. I'm taking it back to a squat and my feet are about hips distance apart. So chest up again, ribs closed, abdominals in. I'm gonna go to prayer hands here. And then I'm taking one leg, shifting my weight slightly to the side, that leg goes back. So you end up looking like you're in a lunge and then slide the leg in, right? So if you're not on a surface like I am, it's okay to kind of just step back and then step forward. But the idea is you're keeping this front leg stable, the abdominals in. Good. Four more like this. Three, feeling that front thigh burn a bit. Two, and one. Now bring it back underneath you. See how that heel's up. See if you can bring the other heel up to join it. So both heels are off the floor. Thighs pressing towards each other, hold. Three, shake, 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 shake. Drop the heels, stand it up. All right, other side. So opposite leg is bent. Shift the weight a little bit and slide back for eight, seven. So as I'm doing this, I'm not leaning to the side, right? Trying to stay upright over my hips and four. Stable through that front leg, knee forward, two, and one. Bring it in. Balance on the ball of the foot. Can you bring the other one up to join it? Hold it there. Now I'm gonna switch up my arms a little bit here, bring them by my side, chest up, pulse the arms back. Now balancing on the balls of your feet is just agony, drop those heels, right? But otherwise we're gonna balance here. Chest up. You can do this, pulse those arms, keep going. Pulse, back, working the shoulder blades back and together. You got this. I'm burning right here with you. Here we go, last eight, seven, six, chest up. Four, three, two, one, shake it out, nice job. All right, so still continue to work through our single leg here. One leg a little bit bent, bring the other leg up. Your up might be here today, all right? That's where you're at, stay there, or maybe you're going higher. Wherever you go, just don't push into your knee, all right? I'm gonna go up somewhere in the middle, all right? And then from here, think of pressing the hip bones, thigh bones towards each other, all right? That action is gonna help create balance through the hips and then hands on the back of the head. All right, so we're gonna do a rotation. You're gonna rotate over that bent leg, one that's up and back to center. Use your exhale, rotate. And back to center. So some standing core work. You might feel some wobbling in your feet and ankles, that's cool, those are working too. All right, four more. Use your exhalation to twist. Three, two, and rotate again on one. Now come back to center. I'm still gonna keep that same leg up, but let's open up the arms. From here, extend the leg out. Again, don't worry about how high it is, but I want you to rotate out so your inner thigh faces the ceiling a little bit more. We're gonna do a standing single leg circle here. So part of the challenge is to, of course, stay standing, but also keep those hips squared, change direction. I went for about six circles each way, trying to not drop, lift that hip. And hold it, now pulse it up for six, five, four, three, two, one, and sweep it out, back and forth a few times. Ooh, just relieving that thigh a little bit and release. All right, other side. So knee a little bit bent. We're gonna go the standing balance. I'm taking my hands on my hips to make sure I feel square. Lift up, thigh bones pressing in. 
abdominals engaged, right? Hands on the back of the head, here we go. Take your time. Eight rotations if you can. Exhale, twist. To really focus on this side. This foot's like, what are you doing? But remember, if you fall out of it, who cares? Just come right back to it. Exhale, rotate. Every time I rotate, my inner thighs are working. I'm pressing them in towards each other. Also engaging the arch of that foot as well. All right, I have two more. See if you can go to eight. And then come back to center. Try to keep that leg up if you can. Arms out to the side, chest up. We're gonna extend the leg out about six circles. Lift the inner thigh up. Chest lifted, avoid leaning back. Changing directions for six. Chest up. I know your body wants to lean. Stay over those hips. Don't worry about how high that leg goes. And then pulse it up for six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it. Ooh. Okay, so let's take our legs wider than hips distance apart. <laughs> We're gonna go to T arms for a standing saw. So legs are stable. I'm rotating through the torso and then reaching towards my foot come up through a twist, back to center. Other side, rotate, reach, bring it up through a rotation, back to center. Other side, twist, slide it forward, reach, bring it up, back to center. Other side, twist, slide forward, reach, bring it up, a little bit more flow for four. Good, and three. So the head moves with your spine, right? Last two. Try to stabilize those hips strong through your legs. Last one. And back to center. All right. Walk the feet in just a little bit. Find a turned out position again. And then we're going to lower down into a deep sumo type squat. Take one shoulder and find a nice rotation here. And back to center, good. Other side, rotate. And back to center, just inserting a little stretch here. And center, other side. And center, okay. So now, legs stay here, hands on the back of the head, and you're gonna stay low in that squat. Here we go, hold it, bend over to one side. Elbows back, chest open, we're not caving forward. And center, other side, take the bend. Work that top shoulder blade back, and center. So I like to pretend like I'm between two walls, two panes of glass, and I can't go forward or back. Just side to side. Can you get deeper in your squat as you do this? And we're going slow on purpose, right? Good, four more. Use your breath. Last two. And final one. Bring it back to center and release those arms. Yay! Okay, so from here I'm gonna give you a little bit more of a side view again, finding some balance work. So bending through one knee, take the opposite leg back. So I've got my left leg forward. I'm gonna bring my right arm forward. Okay, so from here, I'm gonna lift the back leg up, find the balance, good. First off, we're gonna pulse the leg for four, back leg, three, gaze forward, two, hold it up on one, it doesn't have to be terribly high, but now you're hinging from your hip, take it forward, bring it back, can you avoid hitting the floor, pause where we started, pulse again for four, three, two, one, take your time. Hinge from the hips. The bend in my knee is not increasing. I'm really moving from my hips. Ooh, and again, pulse. Three, two, one. Try to look forward, not down. Hinge. And up. All right, one more. And four. Three, two, one. Now hinge. On this fourth one, your last one, pause there. See if you can pulse the leg up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it. Mm, mm, mm. That bottom calf and foot, everything was working. All right, switch legs. <laughs> so you have a little bit in your knee, hips are 
shooting forward like headlights. I got my right leg forward, left arm forward. So whatever's opposite for you. Float the leg off the floor. Did you turn your hip out to do that? Keep them forward. Hinge just a little bit and pulse up for four, three, two, one. Keep it up, abdominals in. So that glute is holding that leg up. Back to start. Again, four, three, two, one. Hinge it forward. And bring it back up. Abdominals in and up, everybody. Four, three, two, one. Hinge it forward. You got this. It's okay if you're shaking. Get right back to it. Four, three, two, one. Now remember, we're hinging. We're going to hold it there. Eight pulses. Let's do it. Eight, seven. Long legs stretched out. Head up. Three, two, one. And bring it up. All right, shake it on out. So now from here, I'm gonna take uh, one leg and turn it out just like I did the sumo squat, all right? That leg is now bent, making sure you can still see your toes. Opposite leg is going a little bit to the side, okay? So from here, I'm gonna take my hands on my hips. I am purposely doing kind of a lunge position, taking the focus and the balance on this leg, all right? So you're gonna float it up. Outside leg is here floating. My foot is flexed and then place it back down. Do that a couple times. I just wanna make sure you're in the right position so that you don't feel like you're gonna go spilling forward over your toes. So just kind of like a little prep for a second. Now let's go back and hold it if you can. Outside foot is flexed. Balance, you can do this, pulse up. Kind of a weird position, right? But I wanna get into a little bit of that lateral work, a little balance. Don't lean too far forward. Four. Three, two, one. Can you just flow into the other side? Sure you can. Let's do a few preps here. Same idea, totally different side. You might feel it somewhere differently in your body too. Now hold it up, flex that outside foot and pulse up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and release it down. Yay, 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 yay. Okay, so from here, going into that side view, we're gonna go into a lunge. The knee is forward, heel is lifting that back foot, and reach up overhead. This time I'm gonna interlace my fingertips and press up. Remember, you still wanna lift up and out of your hips, abdominals in, push up through the palms, gaze lifted, and then you're gonna press through those palms and take a little extension back. Lots of action through that back leg as well as you do that. You get this delicious stretch through the front, through the back hip. Front of the hip, back leg. Just take the extension that works for you and then release your arms. Now, only part not truly standing in this workout. Your hands come down to frame your foot. I'm gonna straighten through this leg, find a little bit of a stretch and then back into the lunge. And again, straighten the leg, hips up and back into the lunge. And then go ahead and straighten, stay there. Maybe press back through your back heel and bring your head down towards your shin and feel a stretch. Bend through the front knee, find your balance, sweep those arms back up overhead again and release them down. All right, go ahead and step it forward. We'll do the other side, okay? So opposite leg forward, find that lunge. This time, let's go with hands behind the back, palms pressing together, chest open. So still a little bit of an extension. Back leg is straight, chest up if you can. Get that delicious stretch through the hip flexor on the right leg. Good, deep breaths, working the shoulder blades together. And release. So now going down to the ground, you are straightening and bending and straightening and bending. Two more. If you need to step your foot back a little bit, go for it. I know I did. All right, so now I'm going to keep it straight. Reach back to that back heel, bring the head down towards the shin, feel the stretch here. bend through the knee and now we're going to go ahead and step both feet forward let the arms hang let the head hang and then take your time 
and slowly roll it up. Good, and then from there, I always end with a nice stretch at the top, reaching up, thanking yourself for taking the time today to fit in some time for you and paying attention to your body. So thank you for joining me today. I truly appreciate you joining me in these workouts. So please remember to hit the bell, subscribe, and of course, tell a friend and comment. Let me know what you like, what you want to see, and be sure to check me out on Facebook, on Instagram as well at xodandrea, also at the end of this video. So thank you, and I will see you on the mat next time.